Have you ever wondered that、uh, you can use your GPU to make some passive income? Today, I want to introduce you to one of recent project that you can rent your GPU to get、uh, involved in the project and get、uh, rewarded. The project、uh, is called、uh, IO.net. Recently, it raised thirty million US dollar at valuation of one billion US dollar. The IO.net is a decentralized GPU network. It can provide a distributed GPU power to the AI applications. It has really a big potential. Consider everyone wants more GPU to run their AI applications. To deploy your GPU to IO.net, first you go to IO.net and sign up using your Google account. You can click、uh, the deploy now, and、uh, as you can see here, I'm on the dashboard. You can see if I click the worker, it shows、uh, my deployed、uh, GPUs. I have two of them right here. Another one got、uh, terminated. So I have already earned the point six five US dollars. If you want to connect to your GPU, you can click the connect GPU and select Windows. Because usually we have consumer GPU, we select the render. You can give it a name and select GPU worker. So it will show you all the instructions. I think、uh, this、uh, can be easy to follow. If you click、uh, the link, it will redirect you to the documentation site, and、uh, it、uh, provides you detailed step by step、uh, setup for it. In general, I think.、Uh, Those steps are easy to follow. You will need to install Docker. You need to install NVIDIA drivers if you haven't. Those are very standard task. I believe that you were able to do that easily. Another one I want to mention is the CUDA. It's optional, so I didn't install them. It can be fine. All right, so I will give the link in my description. Feel free to follow that. One thing I want to emphasize is that you need to enable your CPU virtualization, as I show me here. Another thing you may want to do is that you will need to go to your control panel, go to the programs. And、uh, turn Windows features on or off. In here, there are several things you need to do. First is、uh, you need to make sure that the Windows subsystem for Linux is、uh, selected. And then there's the Virtual Machine platform, and the Windows Hypervisor platform both need to be selected. This one is kind of. May be important if you find yourself some issues deploying your GPU there. I think this might help. After you install the Docker, you can copy the command, and、uh, you run your Windows PowerShell as the administrator. Within the PowerShell, you can paste、uh, the command that you just、uh, copied. So it may take a while to download those. So as you can see here, I have both、uh, Docker container running. They have been running for thirteen hours now. And if you look at、uh, the images, you can see that there are several Docker container got downloaded. One of them are really large. It's twenty three point five gigabytes. So, so for this one, I think it's 
will take a while to download and make sure you have enough disk space to store those. So after you complete all the steps, you all need to do is to do the refresh to get connected to your GPU. So here, I'm showing one example of my Sodi 80 GPU has been running for 13 hours now. And I think uh, it looks good. And you can totally customize the dashboard. Lastly, I wanted to give you some updates about uh, some frequent asked questions. First one is that uh, you may encounter that uh, the status of your GPU is showing as in maintenance. I was confused too, so I reached out in the Discord channel and someone explained it here. They say that uh, if the IO.net, the system they have maintenance, your GPU will show as maintenance status. They also explain that uh, the maintenance status doesn't uh, affect uh, the performance, which uh, will be changed when it's done, so you won't need to worry about that. Overall, I think it's really a great uh, project. Imagine that uh, you connect uh, GPU from all over the world together into a network that uh, how much it can contribute to the AI advancement. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.